Hello, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Noise Park that analyzes and delivers the hottest news in the United States from a new perspective. Today is a very important news related to residency and visa issues for international students. I hope that this video can help international students to respond appropriately corresponding to the situation. On June 6, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement announced that they would cancel the visa for foreign students who only take classes online. According to ICE, due to COVID-19 incident, visas will be canceled for foreign students who only take classes online. Also, foreign students who are planning to take all classes online in the fall semester will not be allowed to stay in the United States. Students who have F1 and M1 visas, which are non-immigrant visas, will not be allowed to attend a fully operating online schools and online classes starting from this fall 2020. This new policy will have a significant impact on Korean students in the United States and those preparing to study in the United States and Korea. If this policy is implemented in earnest, students attending an online-only school or program are forced to choose between the two. One of them is a method where you can stay in the United States. If you want to maintain a legitimate visa, you must transfer to a school that attends in-class courses. If you transfer to a school that attends in-class courses, your visa may be maintained. Second method is a way of not holding a visa. If you cannot transfer to an attending school, you may not be able to maintain your visa. So you may have to consider leaving the US. Students who hold a F1 visa are students who are studying academically. Students who are holding M1 visa are students who are taking vocational courses. It is expected that many of the Korean students studying or planning to study in the United States will be directly affected by the ISIS action. Meanwhile, as COVID-19 continues to spread, universities in the United States have announced to conduct bachelor's courses online. In the fall semester, Harvard and Princeton University decided to allow only half of the undergraduate students to live on campus. It is also said that Harvard and Princeton University will do most of their classes online. International students who do not attend school and plan classes online should quickly check if they are subject to ICE's new international student visa policy. As COVID-19 continues, this pandemic has affected several areas. At first, I thought it would only affect a temporary economic downturn. But now it has begun to influence international students in the United States. That was it for the video today and I will be back with another video. It was Z News from California, USA.